All right, so I am going to do a tutorial that's for absolute beginners in uh, Cubase Elements 11. Uh, we're just going to import some tracks that we want to work with and mix, and then export uh, with a light uh, mastering as a mix down. And so this would be useful for those of you who are just getting going using a DAW or Cubase Elements 11 and have some old files you want to work with, uh, waves, MP3s, whatever. And so first off, what we want to do is uh, we have an empty project here. And uh, we are going to go uh, to this little plus sign here and click on that and select audio. And now we aren't going to actually be recording any audio. We're just going to be working with some files that we imported. And so we're not worried about what our audio imports are set at. Uh, in the tracks I'm using, I recorded in Amplitude, so they're in stereo. And so I'm going to import those as stereo files. And so the first one I want to import is the drums. And so down here, you can uh, label it as drums here. If you just click in this little box here, it allows you to uh, label it as you uh, create it. Add track. And then what we want to do is attach the audio uh, file to that track. And so we want to go over to File and Import and Audio File. And there's my drums. Click Open and OK. There's my drum track. Now another way you can open a track in this area here is you can right click anywhere in this uh, box here. So I'm just going to right click and it gives you the option to add audio track. And we're going to name this one bass. So add track. Now we need to attach the audio uh, file to that track. So we're going to import audio file and we're going to do bass, open. I have already uh, opened this project before just to test it out, and so I'm just going to put uh, new. You won't see that window. And then we will uh, select uh, the plus sign again to do it the other way. Audio track, add track, and we want to import um, guitar one. So we're going to go to import, and guitar one, open, OK. Now, after, after the fact you've imported it, you can still label the track here. Uh, you can bring the cursor up here and just double-click in this box here where it says Audio 1, and I'll call that Guitar 1. And uh, now we'll do it the other way by right-clicking again. This will be Guitar 2. So add audio track, and we're, this time we're going to call it Guitar 2. And we have to import the audio file for that. Guitar 2. OK. So we have all our tracks here. So what we want to do is we want to mix these tracks since they were all exported at, at the level they were exported in uh, another program or whatever the case may be. Uh, so we want to go to the mixer, which is uh, uh, the hotkey function 3, uh, F3 on your keyboard. So I'm going to hit F3. And as you can see, here's all my tracks, drum, bass, guitar, guitar 2. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to mix these tracks. I already know that uh, the guitar and bass are a little too loud for this. And so I'm going to hit play, and you're going to see me bring those levels down um, to match the drums. Rather than boost the drums, we want to leave some headroom uh, when we export uh, with uh, uh, compression or mastering on because the vo we're going to raise the volume just a little bit and as we kind of create that glue uh, with the compression in the tracks in the processor. And so you want to leave yourself a little headroom here so you don't want to push everything up to uh, uh, redlining up here or, or clipping. And so I'll hit play. You'll see me adjust these levels and then uh, we'll go from there. So let's say that sounds great, and that's the mix we want to use. Now what we want to do uh, is we want to uh, insert our uh, 
VST plugin that we're going to use. What it could be whatever you want to use, uh, whatever VST plugin you want to use to mix or master or EQ or whatever. And so we need to go up here to inserts. And now I've already loaded uh, the one I'm going to use. Um, just because I'm using this restream. You're not going to see this restream here. This is what I'm using to capture audio on this video here. So just disregard this restream uh, uh, VST plugin. But uh, what we want to do is just, you'll see it blank like all these. Your, your, yours will look like these ones. They'll be blank. And so what you want to do is you just want to uh, pick one of these boxes, uh, the first one preferably. And so I'm going to pick that one, which is... Uh, TR51. This is the T-Rex uh, one mastering processor. Now, um, for demo purposes, I'll close that out, and, and I will show you how to get to that. Let's. Uh, I'll start off fresh. So, uh, minus the restream, you'll see a blank box here. And so, let's say uh, you want to choose what you're going to use. You're going to want to click this blank box here, and you can see all these uh, categories here. Uh, whatever you're going to use might be in a different category. Here's like EQ, Mastering. I know that this uh, the plugin I want to use is in this other. It's TR5. Uh, it's labeled as TR51. And so I click on that, and as I can see, there's my TR51. And so I'm going to select that, and then it populates it. So that's how you get your, your plugin in there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the track and you'll hear me toggle on the bypass. So I'm basically going to be shutting this unit on and off so you can hear the difference. And then you'll see me tweak a few knobs as far as uh, dialing in what sounds better to me. Um, so we'll get going on that here right now. I'll start off bypassed. Now I'm turning it on. Shut it off again. And turn it back on. So let's say that's the sound I want. And so what you can do, uh, just make sure that you don't have it on bypass, uh, whatever you're using, whatever VST plugin, make sure you have the plugin on. And then you can just close out this window. And as you can see in the mixer, we have our, our plugin right here on this stereo out channel. And so that's what's going to apply that plugin uh, as we export this file. And so we can close the mixer. And now we want to use these locators here and select the range of our whole uh, project here. And another thing you can do, let's say I didn't want the guitar in that guitar two in that mix, I could mute that guitar, and as it exports, you will not hear that guitar in the mix down. And you can do that with any of the tracks that you have. You can just hit mute if you want to omit that from your mix down. But in this case, I want uh, all these to be exported in the mix down. And so after I have my uh, range selector or my locator set and my range selected, uh, then you want to go to File and Export Audio Mix Down. And now I'm just going to call this one Test. And now you can set the file path here. Uh, I have mine set to a mix down folder in Cubase projects. Um, but you determine where that file goes. And so these are the uh, default settings in Cubase Elements 11, and I found that these worked pretty good for me. Um, so I'm using file type wave, sample rate 44.1, uh, bit depth 32-bit float, and interleaved. And so then all you do is just hit export audio. We're going to go 
into our files here and documents and here's my Cubase projects and mix here's the mix down folder I had it set to and there's there it is test and so I see test right there and so I'll jump back to Cubase here um, so yeah that's how you uh, import some files uh, mix them and then export them uh, with some mastering and so again this is for absolute beginners I hope this helps you out I'll probably do a few more of these short little uh, videos on specific things in Cubase Elements 11 and so that's pretty much it for today have a good day